Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Now, you're wondering, why is Julian wearing a cap? We know why Julian wears a cap, because we've watched a lot of his videos. Incidentally, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button down below. And every time I upload a new video, uh, somebody will come around and give you a bang on their head, possibly Michael Gove, Boris Johnson, some other uh, luminary of our current government and will remind you and say, by the way, Julian's just uploaded a new video. Now, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, and I do have some regular viewers, and I want to say big shout out to you guys, whether you're a regular or an irregular viewer, welcome and thanks for watching. So if you are a regular viewer, you will know that when Julian wears the cap, the cap, he is doing an unboxing or an unpackaging, or as I like to say, in my sort of cod French unboxing de jewels, which is a joke that I made a few videos ago and I have, frankly have not stopped laughing about ever since and I expect you have. So what have we got here today? Well, a company, you, you may have seen some of my other videos where a few companies, generally Chinese, reached out to me and said, we like your videos and we'd like you to do an unboxing of some of our products. And I was very pleased to do so. And recently, it's been a little bit of a lull, don't know why guys, but it's been a little bit of a lull, but another company reached out to me by the name of Cycle Pal. There it is, Cycle Pal. And they contacted me and they said, we like your videos, Julian, we'd like you to do a, a video about one of our products, which we will send to you. And I said, please do, as long as you realize I'll do it in my own style. And they said, yep, that's what we're looking forward to. Now, that's the first thing to say then, they sent me this product um, unasked for by me until they asked me and then I asked them to send it to me, but I didn't originally ask them to send it to me. So they sent it to me for free, yes, for free, but they are not paying me for this video. I don't think they want this particular tool back, but if they do, they can send me an email and they can whistle for it. <laughs> no, it's not true, guys. No, no, if you want it back, I'll send it back. So let's get on with the unpackaging. It's in a single use envelope. And Cycle Pal says, right, what does it say? It says a tire seating tool, which is what I think this is, user manual. Uh, fix the tool on the opposing side. Well, I'll, I'll get around to reading this leaflet when I've looked at the tool. And here it is, it's in very nice uh, single use plastic. I said once before in one of my mid videos, Nigel, that it, it's only single use if you don't find another use for it. But if you find another use for it, then it's not single use for it. Uh, it's not single use. And I think that this very moment in first, say, second, third, fourth world, is it a fourth world uh, country? Um, there are students this very moment uh, studying for their PhD about how to reuse this kind of plastic and turn it into some kind of food stuff that a, a vegan would be happy to include in their diet. So work away, guys, work away, come up with something interesting. And what is it? Well, it is a tool for helping you to seat difficult tires on the rim. If I hold it up close like that, it's shaped a li little like a pair of scissors or a pair of pliers. So there is some kind of spring-loaded clip inside like that. And you put this bit on the rim and you put this bit on the tire and that should assist you to lever the tire back onto the rim. And it seems reasonably well made out of some kind of hard plastic. Not sure why it's made of hard plastic and I'll tell you in a moment why I'm a little bit wondering about why it's made of hard plastic. We will try out the tool. That is it. There isn't a great deal to say about it. Well, I'll tell you what, what I can say about it. I'll tell you what it costs. It costs £14.95, although that is a reduction uh, from its normal price, which is £29.95. So you can currently buy it at 50% off. Uh, nothing to do with me. They, they've got some sale on their website and you can buy two for 23.92 which seems like an odd odd sum to me anyway instead of 
what they say 2990 but 2990 would be two of the 1495 price and that's how they present it as opposed to twice 29.95 which would be slightly less than 60 quid and it may be that they've presented that that way on the website because if you look at the price you thought 60 quid that's quite a lot of money anyway the reason why i mention what it's made of is you may have seen a previous video that i did about an x tools tire seating tool which i will hold up and it is here and you tell me what the difference is between those two tools do you know what the difference is well i'll tell you what one difference is on this one it says x tools there and on this one it says cycle pal there okay there's nothing there's nothing in the rules unless of course this, this tool is painted in which patented not painted patented in which case there is something in the rules but there's nothing in the rules to say you can't make a tool the same as somebody else but if you're thinking this is a startling original tool then I, I have to say no it isn't i do notice one difference about it and that is the cycle pal version is spring loaded the x tool version is not spring loaded or if it was and i've used this quite a few times it isn't spring loaded anymore whether that makes any difference to it in actual use i'm not sure the other thing you might notice if i hold this up this is the x tool one you will see that the two sides of the tool do not meet okay it's got bent all right and the reason it's got bent is that this tool has been used on some pretty difficult to seat tires and it has not been able to cope with the amount of force that Julian can put through his arm to get that tire onto the rim. And that's why I say it's made of a hard plastic as is the Cycle Pal version made of a hard plastic so whether the same thing will happen to the cycle pal version over uh, a number of uses in other words this particular spring loaded element will weaken it doesn't prevent the tool from working I, I should say that it doesn't prevent the tool from working but you do get a little bit of flex as you're trying to seat that tire and if it is a particularly difficult tire and let's face it unless it's a particularly difficult tire you don't actually need to use one of these tools uh, then you do need a tool uh, a tool that is not going to uh, warp or bend or distort after a lot of use so let's just go back and look at the instructions here it says fix the tool on the opposing side of the rim opposing side of the rim opposing what there's two sides of the rim so you put that on the opposing side oh, I'll put that pull the loose side of the tire up with the tool presumably yeah okay. let go once the tire is perfectly seated on the wheel yeah okay fair enough not quite sure why you'd want to go and ride with this still attached to your wheel but anyway uh, point four check the tire has been properly seated before fully inflating easily seat your tires and well there you are that is the limit of the instructions so you'll want to see you you'll want to know what the tire is like in use so i'll just uh, get my trusty uh, assistant to uh, provide me with the requisite uh, equipment that i need so don't go away um, because i have here yes as a la blue peter i have here a tire uh, which i have um well i've actually undone it from the rim uh, because i haven't had to fix a puncture at the moment so let's just put part of this you can see the, the strength that julian is displaying in his thumbs here can you see that it's funny when i'm kind of i'm trying to do it this way so that you can see it in the camera but if i'm doing it that way i have to use my fingers as opposed to my thumbs because oh no it wouldn't, wait, wait, i wouldn't want to be i wouldn't want to do this with my fingers because that would rather defeat the object 
and then you couldn't see me. Now, you're going to see me use the tool even though you can't see my face. So you have to imagine my face is up there, uh, still with the cap on. I haven't removed the cap. If I, if I bend down, you can see I'm still wearing the cap. So I'm going to put this on the opposing side of the rim, and that's what they mean by the opposing side of the rim. Okay, I'll just put a bit more of this on here. Right, so we're getting to the point where it's a little bit difficult now. So let's put the tool on the opposing side of the rim. Let's clip it on there. Let's pull it up like that. No, wrong place. Let's try there. That's almost on. Let's just put it on there. While you're, while you're kind of watching me do this, I did a, a video of this similar tool, the X Tools version. And I compared it with another tool, which is also used for seating tires, which is called the tire key. And I, I, I couldn't get the tire key to work, which led to quite a lot of, of abuse in the comments on the lines of, Julian, you're an idiot. Um, if you can't use the tool properly, in fact, I even ended up getting a, an email from the tire key people who said to me, um, you're doing it all wrong. And they showed me how to do it. Anyway, uh, that's it. I've got the tire seated on the rim and the, let me put that down, give that to my trusty assessment. Thank you, Paula. And I have the, the tool, well, the tool works. The tool has done its job. Yes, it has done what it said on the tin. And it is remarkably similar to the X Tools version, except it's got a slightly shorter bit here than the X Tools version, which is behind it. Other than that, well, actually, no, when you put it together like that, they really are the same size. They, they really are basically the same tool, aren't they? Well, no, no criticism, cycle pal. No, nothing, as I say, in the rules to say you can't do that, unless, of course, X tools have patented their particular version. Now, OK, you want, you want to know what I think of it. Well, it, it works. I think um, $29.95, I think it's too expensive. I'll, I'll be honest there. I think $14.95 uh, is, a, is a reasonable price. It's, it's a fair price. But the thing about it is you can't take this out on a ride in your in your pocket right there it is i'm wearing a kind of polo shirt i wouldn't wear this while i'm riding but that, that i mean that's not going to work is it and it's not going to go in the back pocket of your jersey so there's a workshop tool uh, as a garage tool for the the home mechanic uh it's very useful and there's been plenty of times when i've needed it but 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 when do you really need assistance in getting a tire on the rim? It's when you're out on a ride in November. It's absolutely pissing it down. It's freezing cold. You haven't got any grip in your fingers. BMWs are going past. They're sloshing you with water. You've got HGVs. You've got coaches. You've got buses. You've got all kinds of people riding past or driving past, shouting abuse at you. Um, and you're trying to fix the tire on the rim and you can't do it. And that's when you want to reach into your pocket and get out a nice dinky tool. Now, the tire key, apart from the fact that I couldn't get it to work, although that was largely my fault, I did kind of get it to work. The tire key does fit in your pocket. I'll say that for it. This does not fit in your pocket. So if I was to say one thing to the Cycle Pal people, if they're really interested in creating useful products for the cycling community, make a version of this which works but which you can carry in your jersey pocket and then guys i think you'd be on to a winner and 29.95 would be a fair price as it is the tool does what it's supposed to do uh, i will carry on using it i'm not going to send it back to you because my x tools version is getting a little bit warm so this is very useful to have this i'm very grateful to you and um well that's it thanks for watching everybody please remember that my videos raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, please like and share. There is an algorithm uh, within Facebook. The more times you comment on it and uh, so forth, the more uh, times that Facebook, uh, Facebook, uh, 
I'm getting confused now. The more times that YouTube recognize, uh, the more times that YouTube promotes, recommends, that's the word, recommends. What, what is it? I just can't get the words anymore. I can't get the words. Cycle Pal, if you can think of a tool that I can carry in my pocket that will assist 65 year old cycling gentlemen who struggle to find the correct word, to find the correct word, I would pay. $29.95 seems like a fair price. So thanks for watching everybody and see you out on the road and see you next time.